So yeah, whenever so you want to try, try something. Jamie Glass knows what it's like to work in a male-dominated industry. As a young petroleum engineer at Chevron, she spent many days wearing safety coveralls designed for men. I'm pretty sure it was a men's large. It was very big, and it, it the crotch came down to my knees and I was tripping everywhere when I walked on it. So Jamie decided to make her own coveralls. So I said, I'm just going to make one for me and see how it goes and see if I like it. And then a lot of my friends were like, hey, we want them too. This is great. And that's when Jamie decided to be the change she wanted to see in the oil industry. She created her own line of safety wear called Hot Work. So we think about women's forms, all shapes and sizes, and try to fit all of them and make um, these flame resistant clothes look a little bit more feminine and just fit well so that they're safer for women in the workplace. Six months into production, the certified flame resistant clothing has been selling like hotcakes. Every month, sales have doubled or more. I think just word of mouth is getting out there. It's been a long time that it's needed to be done. It's a long time coming. Just ask these oil and gas professionals who came to check out Hot Work at a trunk show in Houston. We've all been waiting for it and we're so happy Jamie's taken the plunge and paved the way for us. And they can't wait to say goodbye to those old bulky men's coveralls. Well, they were big. They were usually oversized. They're pretty disgusting to wear. Well, I couldn't even find a jumpsuit that actually fit, so I wore pants and a shirt, and I actually wore youth boys pants. And so they were really short high waters, and I'm pretty short, so they look kind of funny. I was really excited, because last summer when I was in the field, and they took us to an FR clothing store, and they said, go pick out your size, find what you need. And I'm not exaggerating, it was the smallest rack of clothes. I just picked out the smallest coverall outfit. It was baggy, I rolled it. Hot work is even attracting support from key players in the energy industry. Melody Meyer is on the board of directors at BP. My career was with Chevron for 37 years. And in all of the countries that I worked in, I wore men's small jumpsuits and I wore men's small shirts and they all were huge on me. But when I learned about what Jamie is doing in hot work safety gear, um, I just saw that it was uh, something that we needed in the industry very badly. Now she has several hot work suits of her own. I was in Oman offshore a couple months ago and wore another men's small and I really regretted not bringing one of the hot work safety suits to wear. And hot work is now expanding. We're gonna start partnering with existing larger companies. Um, we're also gonna start staffing up. The next line we're working on is maternity wear. But most of all, Jamie hopes her designs will help women in the oil and gas industry feel more confident. Sometimes it can feel intimidating if you're in a big jumpsuit that looks like it's your dad's when you're meeting someone, you know, or trying to prove your professionalism. Really, it's a smart idea, but it's something that companies really need to think about if they want to attract the next generation of professional. And Hot Work's surging sales are proof that the oil and gas industry isn't just a boys club. There isn't just one type of stereotype for the people that can join STEM careers. Like, they don't have to be the typical science and math type that you think of. There's plenty of women today, and it's only going up.